and appreciate the, the chair's comments about people dreaming big dreams and the struggling weight person, and I don't know if you said Waco, but someplace in Texas, you know, people that want to be their own boss. And really, that's, I think, what we Democrats want to fight for, the regular guy or gal who's working out there, the hardworking people in the middle. And I take a look at just one section. Forget about the whole bill, but let's look at one, one section of the Choice Act, Section 844, and Ms. Maloney has an amendment to that. 844, originally the law says uh, you can make a proposal concerning the direction of a corporation if you own 1% or $2,000 worth of that company. Well, under the Choice Act, you change it to 1%. And when you change it to 1%, Mr. Chairman, in a, in a company like Wells Fargo, you have to own $2.6 billion worth of that company. There's only 11 investors in Wells Fargo of the millions of shareholders that it has that would be able to make a proposal uh, with respect to Wells Fargo. Apple, the biggest company in America, you'd have to have $7 billion worth of shares. There's only 10 that would have, that would meet the requirements that you've set forth in the Choice Act. And so I appreciate your use of, you know, the, the visual of the weight person in Waco, Texas, or the guy who's just bought a business and wants to really be successful. Well, if they want to buy shares in either of these companies or any company of any major standing in America, they got to have millions and millions of dollars of value in that company before they can say what direction that company should take. And talk about undemocratic. And talk about taking away rights of just the regular working people. That's what this Choice Act does. And I appreciate the efforts that the chairman has made on independent banks and consumer banking. And as I said before, there really is a lot of common ground where we could make some headway in the financial arena. But when positions are taken like you have to own 1% of Apple before you can have a say at the shareholders meeting, that's crazy. And I would urge the chairman to take that section out now so we don't have to talk about it later. And with that, I yield back.